Following two marijuana busts in two unorthodox locations, one right across from a police station, both happened on Detroit's east side, leading to several arrests. Investigators carted away 148 plants worth $427,000 on the streets. 7 Action News reporter Shelley Childers has the latest for us now on the investigation. Shelley. Police are still working to figure out how many people are behind this massive marijuana grow operation. And behind me is the second location where they found more than 100 plants growing inside. One by one, nearly 150 marijuana plants were seized from two buildings on Detroit's east side. The first, with 40 plants and a street value of $127,000, discovered across the street from Detroit's 11th precinct. Cops smelled the odor, got a warrant, and made the bust. Inside the former liquor store, five people were arrested, four charged with misdemeanor loitering and a fifth with a felony. Well, I'm glad that they were able to um, take care of that. Sanceria Mason lives near the second location on Seven Mile and Blake. Inside this former bakery, police found an even larger operation with 108 plants, a street value of $300,000. It was all happening across the street from Greenfield Union Elementary Middle School. They just, they don't care about anybody. They don't care about the community. All they care about is making money. Unfortunately, this is the world that we live in. It's not right. Investigators are still putting this case together. They're not releasing the names of the people arrested. The five people arrested last night are set to be arraigned sometime later this afternoon or tomorrow. We'll continue to follow this case. Reporting from Detroit, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.